This video presents an overview of the code plugin for Canvas that is used to automate assessment of programming assignments in Canvas. The code plugin is focused predominantly on console programs, that is, programs that read data from standard input and write results back to standard output. However, some aspects of the plugin can also be used with graphics programs. These aspects include ensuring the program compiles, ensuring the program meets some style guidelines, and also providing feedback to the students. The plugin currently supports different programming languages. Currently, it supports C++ and Java, with more programming languages coming as the need arises. The plugin integrates with Canvas via LTI and uses open authentication mechanisms. So all of the authentication is taken care of by Canvas, and the plugin runs within a Canvas environment. But the, and the plugin only has a limited set of interactions that it can do with Canvas, and this is to ensure security uh, as well. When submissions are made to the plugin, they are compiled and style checked. Um, the plugin also automates functional testing by running the test that the, an instructor has configured and verifies that the outputs generated by the student program meets expected outputs set up by the instructor. And all of these compiling and testing are run in Docker containers for improved isolation and security. The plugin also allows graders and instructors to annotate the source code and provide contextual feedback to students. Some of the key benefits of the plugin is that it maintains a familiar Canvas environment for students, so the learning curve for students is practically zero. The plugin ensures consistent and valid submissions so that we, when the students submit their homework assignments, they quickly know if the submission is compiling and if it is complete and it operates as expected. Because of these automated testing and processing, the plugin enables students to improve the quality of the solution and it also runs style checkers, which are expected in almost all industry jobs. The plugin currently uses the CSC department style guidelines for the different programming languages to ensure that the student submissions meet some of the style guidelines. The plugin automates a lot of the testing, so it minimizes the testing overhead. So each time the, a student submission is received, it runs all of the tests to ensure that the outputs are consistent. So this enables the students to focus on precise outputs um, so, and this precision is an important concept in science and engineering. The plugin also eases the students to view the feedbacks and annotations from faculty. Benefits of, for faculty from the plugin is that it reduces a lot of the mundane overheads in associated with grading. So you don't have to download all of these solutions, make sure they compile and do all of those kinds of additional operations. Instead, when the submission is received, you immediately know the overall quality of the submission and it can focus on higher level outcomes like design strategies or better ways to write a specific solution, so on and so forth. So the plugin automatically ensures that the student submissions meet the faculty expectations that have been set up for that specific homework submission. And of course, the plugin enables faculty and instructors to provide focused contextual feedback by highlighting parts of a program and providing feedback. And also the way the plugin has been designed and integrated with Canvas, you can use all of the Canvas tools, uh, including providing feedback via Canvas and using grading rubrics and the standard grade, uh, uh, grading mechanisms that are available on Canvas. So some of the benefits to both faculty and students is that it basically focuses on trying to improve the overall quality of the solutions that are submitted by students. For example, Faculty can enforce certain minimal or base case requirements for these programs so that when students submit their solutions, they're meeting certain basic expectations and, and requirements for the submissions and not generally just submitting incorrect solutions for programming assignments. It enables the students to develop more precise solutions through robust testing 
And generating these precise solutions is very important. And even one character differences can sometimes make a big impact in the overall outcomes of the solutions. And the testing and verification helps to meet uh, some of the uh, important aspects in well-developed solutions in science and engineering. Of course, with repeated testing, it helps the students to observe or notice some of the um, impacts that happens when they fix one uh, set of uh, problems, they sometimes miss another set of problems in their solutions. And this repeated testing helps to make more robust solutions um, when students develop their programs and such. And of course, most importantly, it minimizes or uh, any of the expectation gaps so there are no big surprises for students and faculty when the solutions are um, received. Some of the key points on the user experiences um, are important to keep in mind when working with a plugin. The plugin has been designed with the emphasis on the following aspects. First, the plugin has been designed to preserve streamlined experience for students um, so that they, they are using an environment that they are familiar with on Canvas. And the plugin meets all of the accessibility requirements as well. The plugin has been designed so that it continues to preserve all of the existing features of Canvas. This includes being able to use the speed grader for grading solutions, using grading rubrics, the same gradebook on Canvas. So the standard set of features that instructors are typically used to, this plugin preserves all of them. And of course, the plugin is designed to balance various technical and security constraints. Um, currently, we use Google Chrome as the primary browser. And of course, Safari and Edge are also supported. Keep in mind with the security constraints, currently the plugin does not masquerade or have options to masquerade as students. What that really means is faculty cannot be submitting solutions um, on behalf of students. There are some trade-offs that arise as part of the design. Um, so some of the interactions with the plugin may seem a little awkward, at least initially for faculty. So that means some of the um, integration um, um, rough edges are on the faculty side and not on the student side. Uh, for example, one of the requirements is that the faculty must add student roles to themselves. Uh, this is a one-time setup that is required for each course, but this is a requirement that needs to be met. Uh, faculty access the plugin as a part of submitting assignments. This may seem a little awkward initially where faculty are trying to submit a solution in order to actually set up and configure the plugin for that specific assignment. Um, this may seem initially a little confusing because you may have a different mental model, but once you get used to this mental model, um, working with a plugin will be relatively straightforward. So here in summary, code has been designed to facilitate teaching and learning for both uh, instructors and students, and is focused on programming assignments. It basically is focused to enable students to improve the overall quality of the solutions that they are submitting. It enables faculty to focus on higher level outcomes in the course by eliminating a lot of the mundane overheads and enables faculty to provide contextual feedback to students, which is where the faculty really excels. Initially, working with a plugin may seem a little awkward to faculty, but after using uh, the plugin a few times, both faculty and students become quite familiar with the tool. Thank you for watching this presentation and I hope the code plugin serves you and your students well on the long run.